We're very religious there for a week. <laughs> but in our country, one thing. He couldn't have got near chapel or one. He had to ask a lot of young boys to coach them up to go to confessions to the mission. So he agreed to finish up. Goes to the mission. Spends a week while with the mission and they're waiting outside the chapel on him coming out to see what it is. About ten years since he's had confessions. The three boys called him, well, Joey, how did you get on? A lovely wee man. A love delightful wee man. So they couldn't get no inroads of what he had told the mission or nothing or anything. The man wasn't coming out with anything, you know. And they were up on news. Well, is he not cross at all? He says, he's, he's, a, he's a delight. He says, but he says, if you take my advice, he says, I would keep an odd wee thing to myself. <laughs> now, they knew then that after him getting close to confessions, he'd go to the altar for the Eucharist. So they watched him go to second mass on the Sunday. And they knew this was his chance. They gets behind him anyway. And just as he was about to raise, they stuck a nail plate on him. <laughs> he marched up to the altar rails, received communion, come down the nail plate was sitting on him. Now, in the chapel, this, the way things get mixed up now, you hear of the Lammas Fair at Ballycastle. We have a Lammas now, don't we? It's stating back every bit as far, and this is facts, it's the Lammas Fair in Ballycastle. It only lasted one day, the 2nd of August, drinking much and dancing on the road and one thing and another. But they landed a priest to our parish, and he decided he would expand this Lammas to two weeks. Got more keys from all over the country. If you had a donkey in charter or an old van running, it didn't matter whether it was taxed or, or insured or not, you had to go for more keys. Ten acre field, he filled it full of more keys. Real big affair. This boy went down and got him coaxed to go in an old pickup to Draper's Town for a more key on a Saturday evening. Yeah, man goes in the old pickup and coming home didn't the pickup break down. He got into an awful panic because he knew the more had a book that next Sunday. So he stood it over what he says down, but I get lift back to the priest. I need to tell the priest about this. Gets a lift back and wasn't confessions on. And he dukes through the chapel door, there was eight row for confession. Studied himself for a while anyway, and then he made the dive. Excuse me, can I go in front of you? Excuse me, can I go in front of you? Right up till he got to the top. <laughs> and they all let him go. They said, this man has done something bad, and I'm about to let him go when the mood's on him. In he goes and I went to the confession box and after a short length of time, about an hour or so, he appears back out. You can imagine what that was, eight rule people knocking at him. <laughs> goes down the side aisle anyway, after he told the priest the story about this pickup, racking down. Goes down the side aisle anyway, and just when he's half goes down it, the wee coat was pulled over and the priest put his head out and he says, And <clears throat> uh, Jimmy, what loan did you leave her down? <laughs> so that left the crowd wondering but Jimmy didn't wonder he put his foot farther in it and he realised then that he had forgot to tell the priest that the old vehicle wasn't taxed or insured <laughs> and, and he says father there's another thing there's no honour <laughs> and the priest finished it out and he says don't worry yourself Jimmy so she's done anyway 